Good afternoon, the investors, viewers. We have not met in the format of a webinar for a long time. It's just that we don't have the technical possibility to do so. But I think that in the near future, this technical possibility will be restored. Today I am addressing you in connection with a situation which is, let's say, significant. Significant to such an extent that, well, I don't know. You know, it's like, hello, I will try to be brief, the end. Well, what is this situation about? Its tragedy lies in the fact that today we and the general contractor have 89 local cost estimates in the works. Last time, remember, we told you about the amount needed to pay for those works, to perform them. And we told you how much money we needed to raise. And today, many of you have calculated that these funds have already been collected. So look, now we have begun to analyze the finances. How much work has been done? How much has been completed? When the balance sheet was ready, the balance of estimates completed was 97%, all the cost estimates. Well, there is a 100% fulfillment for a significant part of them, as for the remaining ones it is about 97%. Now the customer is underfunded at the amount of 139 million, 500,000 rubles. The tragedy of the situation lies in the following. The funds to pay this 139 million, 500,000 are in the accounts of Sovelmesh. The estimates are closed, 100%. Therefore, the estimated figure that was submitted for those estimates it is 100% fulfilled. And I congratulate you on that. The tragic thing is that the estimates are closed. But recently the revenues have been quite significant. It allowed us to have a breakthrough. Before they were employees of subcontractor organizations, contractors as well. But today, if you look at the other side of the building, you can see that there are a little bit more employees on the site than there were before. There are more than 200 people working at the same time. This has had an immediate impact on the results, on efficiency. But I would like to note that these works are carried out under direct contracts with Savalmash, bypassing the customer, or rather the contractor, sorry. I'm always rearranging words. This allows us to save certain funds. It speeds up all the processes. And accordingly, it makes everything cheaper. Why is this possible? Because we started to add people to the team employees who should have already been at these stages and now they are already on the staff they are working and performing these tasks therefore we are already carrying out a significant part of the work 
under our own control. I mean, under our own management. And the most important thing is that the acceptance of works is also carried out in parallel. Specialists are involved at the site for preliminary acceptance of the completed works. Well, basically they give an opinion. This is not even acceptance, but an opinion, a conclusion about the work. What is done, if it is right or not. Fire suppression systems, ventilation, alarm systems, and much more. These employees are working outside of this estimate. But we have almost paid them as of today. And what will be at the end of the next week? Well, there will be certain amounts that we will owe to them. And starting from tomorrow, the acceptance of the executive documentation for the works performed under direct contracts and general contractor contracts begins. So I would like to note that this is not the end of Soul Mesh's need for investment because we will need funds to complete the works, to pay for the remaining works, those that have not yet been scheduled and included in cost estimates. But believe me, it is very insignificant amounts, not 700 or 700 million. It's out of the question. That is why the financial burden on the investor is decreasing. I would like to note another thing. This week, the order was signed on May the 30th, we received a mailing address. The postal address is Moscow, Zelenograd, Constructor Lukin Street, 16-1. So the Design and Technological Bureau has the postal address. Today we are dealing with the issue of obtaining the cadastral number of the building, registration of the building, registering our ownership, and all the legal issues that are necessary to proceed to the next action, which will be the cadastral valuation. But I believe that we will do the cadastral valuation only when all the works are completed and the building commissioning permit is obtained. Until then, we will not do it. And in principle, until we receive a conclusion on the completion of the building, there will be needs. Obviously, there will be needs, financial needs. What can this be related to? Well, the first thing is that no one will accept anything from the first try. This practice is well known. We'll have to eliminate remarks, redo something. This applies mainly to life support systems. That is clear. Well, as for how much money will be needed, we are now going to do calculations. I have a little note in front of me, one of the notes wage fund, land rent, security, transportation cost, insurance, training, low-value communication services, heating, electricity, water supply, engineering, communication, servicing, and so on and so forth. On top of that, we made a guarantee retention from the contractor's estimates. In total, the retention was about 47 million. Now the balance is about 20 million. So we closed that too. Therefore, the remaining 20 million will have to be paid additionally. And plus, everyone understands that we will not immediately reach the plant indicators within a month. So for a certain period of time, 
it will be necessary to maintain the building and the staff at the expense of attracted investments. It is unfortunate, but it is so. Because if we take today's labor fund, and if we take it in two months, it will differ several times, because we'll have to hire additional employees. We could not do it previously, because there were no jobs, and we had no right to conduct business activities at this facility. As soon as the conclusion on the completion of construction is received, and the permit for commissioning is obtained, it will be much easier. So, what is holding us back now? Why haven't we filed for the conclusion on the completion of construction yet? The first point is landscaping. At the end of the year, in order not to make a mess of clay here, we temporarily closed part of the territory with asphalt. Today this coating has been removed, and the main first layer has been laid instead. Therefore, there are additional works that are over the estimate. It will be somewhere in the neighborhood of 17 million rubles on the entire territory, because a lot had to be redone. In particular, we had to move the fence because it was not done according to the cadastral plan. Now, the second work that we have not yet completed to date is the connection to the second input. Well, as for landscaping, maybe you see the footage now. They put it in the chest as well. Now, trees are planted, shrubs are planted, fencing is installed, sliding gates, swing gates. There is even signage crosswalk. We brought a smoking room, because now according to the requirements it is necessary to allocate a place for smoking. In some places, after winter, where curbs were not well done, we forced the contractors to restore all of it, to remake it, to put it in the proper shape according to the requirements of the project. And that is what concerns landscaping. Now the weather will allow to do that, we'll close all the layers of asphalt. So the asphalt has been financed, 7 million have been paid, there will be another small amount of money, it is let's say up to 8 million maximum, because there is backfilling of the ground there. We will also have to restore the pavement near the transformer substation. These works were not planned before, now we will have to do them. So as of today, we have fulfilled the technical conditions for electrical connection, laboratory tests have been conducted, now we have entered the final phase of connecting the enterprise, not under the temporary scheme, but under the permanent scheme of power supply, 10,000 volts. As soon as we complete that, well, and we have already received the postal address, we'll proceed to the stage of concluding a contract, a permanent contract with Moscow Energy Company for heat supply. So we'll not pay crazy money according to design values, we'll actually pay according to the counters, which is much less than that. Colleagues, we are coming to the finish line. So we need to take one more step for a conclusion on completion of construction, to install a noise screen. Today, in spite of the weather, 3 out of 40 foundations have been put in place. Two supports columns have been installed. Now we'll start installing the next ones. And the noise shield of drag cooling towers has been made. This work has already been done. It seemed to be very hard. The main thing is that the work on the third floor of the production building was done in a concentrated and quick manner. Just two months ago, it was a colossal problem. 2.5 months ago or 3 months ago. Today, the bulk of work on ventilation, lighting, finishing is done. 
a colossal number of tiles have been laid, a colossal number of boxes have been installed, lighting has been installed. These works are done. We are at the end of construction works. So as soon as we complete the work on the territory, landscaping and noise screen, we collect all the comments and changes in the project, in the P stage. We make our changes and we submit them for re-examination. Why is this necessary? The law requires it. There are minor changes, but there are more serious ones that must go through examination. During that examination, the work will be stopped at our place. That's why it is necessary to do it before that moment. And then it will be necessary to submit documents to AGIS organization together with project changes. No one cares about minor changes. But nevertheless, in a week, we will make the first submission. Yes, we are going to get comments, that's clear. But we will know those comments. And we will know the scope of those comments. And most importantly, the financial equivalent of those comments will be clear. Because there are comments that can be eliminated at the level of a document, a paper. However, there are others that require financial costs. So bear with me a little bit. Specific amounts, figures will be announced a little bit later. But the most important thing that I congratulate you on is that the main work is almost complete. In financial terms, we can say that they have been completed, which means that, colleagues, we're approaching the completion of the 19th stage. And look how all the team members, all those involved in the project, Solar Group, have acted together. Unlike all the others, we have calculated 20 stages. We are on the 19th stage, and the facility is almost ready. At the 20th stage, we will have to complete it, together with you, and we will have the first batch of serial production. Until then, I think there isn't much left. So whoever is still thinking, take part in it. Or don't do it, it's up to you. But as for investors who have installments, the installments will be used for this period at least, while we reach the required volumes. Because we will evaluate, re-register, reorganize the company from LLC to joint stock company when the company will reach a sustainable income. There is still a time and everything that will be invested will be taken into account. After the cadastral valuation, we will make a commercial valuation. And there will be already, as we have told you, as we have discussed and talked many times, it will not be assessed by the material cost of creating the facility, but a session will be made according to its prospects, including technology, tangible and intangible assets, all of it together. And there is not much time left until then. So, guys, colleagues, girls, women, all the participants, I congratulate you on quite significant milestones in the project. Because a lot of people said it will be a scam. They will collect money endlessly, infinitely. No. That's the bottom line. The last line should be drawn soon enough. And then we'll multiply these capitals, which are invested in this business, in this project. All that hard work, which all the participants of the project and investors, among others, took on their shoulders, because we did not get that money for nothing, not at all. And they always thought about where to invest their money, or where to spend it, 
which also requires energy, mental, moral energy. But nevertheless, people took a decision. You decided to do it. And as for haters, well, the tragic day for the haters is coming and it's getting closer and closer. I will not say that everything is smooth, that we are not going to have more surprises, troubles. We have overcome a lot. We will overcome this too. Have a good day. Stay in a good mood. See you again. Goodbye. Thank you. Take care.